So last year, I was wanting to get a new set of these uh, guides for my table saw. I tried contacting Jess and I emailed them. They didn't respond back to me. And then I got an email wanting to know if I wanted a set of these from the Hongdu. Well, you know, I was like, sure, send them over. Let me check them out. And I got them in and I was just blown away with the quality. I thought that these must actually be uh, made by the same company as high quality they are. I've got some other Jessam products. At the time, I didn't have these actual uh, guides. And so I contacted, I called Jessam up again, trying to get through to somebody. I got a CSR, but he wouldn't, you know, give me anybody other than just a CSR. You know, wouldn't let me talk to anybody if they had any kind of lawsuits or litigations going on with the company if these weren't their real original ones or what. So I went ahead, I did this uh, comparison video and I posted it. A lot of people start talking about intellectual property theft. And then Jessam finally came on after I got a couple thousand views and made a comment saying that they, you know, have a lot of patents, uh, that they sue a lot of manufacturers in a lot of foreign countries, you know, but I couldn't get them to specifically address this product right here. So I, since they didn't respond to my telephone calls, they didn't respond to my emails, I put a, a, a response on their comment. I reply, commented to them and said, please, you know, email me, you know, call me, whatever. Let me, uh, and gave them all my contact information. I'd like to talk to you about this because I don't want to put up a video supporting intellectual property theft. Again, got ghosted by Jessam. So Jessam, you know, I don't know. I'm just maybe not worth it to them, but... The product itself is a fabulous product. I don't know why Jessam is being, you know, kind of, you know, um, won't give me a direct answer, won't talk to me specifically about these. You know, they just make broad statements. So I'm going to go ahead and republish their comment up here, but also I'm going to republish the video. I didn't want to put up a video, you know, supporting a company that does intellectual property theft. However, this Hongdu company, I've gotten several of their products now. Most of them, there are no other ones exactly like them. You know, every product has been super high quality at a fair price. So I don't want to have people miss out on this. And right now they've got this big sale going on on Banggood, uh, their spring sale. And so these are like $150. So less than half, I think it's like 320 bucks for the Jessums. Um, so, and as you'll see in the video, these outperform the Jessum. So sorry about the rant, but at the same time, I wanted to explain myself while I'm putting this video back up. On with the show. A couple weeks ago, I put out a video about these stock guides. Now, these here are the original Jessums. I had tons of people commenting about the Jessums, and at the time I wasn't for sure if these were even made by the same company because they looked like such high quality stock guides. So we've got the Jessums, we got the knockoffs is what people call them. So let's actually look at the two, compare them and see if one of them is better than the other one. Okay, so side by side, you can see these look almost identical. They have your two screws that retains them into the track. You got your big knob that will rotate up or down whenever you lock your knob in. They've got the spring, which is what actually pushes them down against the uh, bed. They both have one-way bearings. So in the first appearances, they're almost identical. This has silver, whereas this is rose gold. But other than that, they are very close to being exact. I have, however, found a few differences. We have the original Jessums. That's what, 1,287, 88 grams. And then here is the Hongdu, 1,284 grams. Almost identical in weight. All right, right off the bat, the only real noticeable difference is with the original Jessums, it's a solid rod where the Hongdu has this little piece that's screwed on. And what that does is keeps you from accidentally sliding this out too far. However, if you do want to take it out, you can unscrew this. It's got real nice threads on it. 
and it's got a, a nice little knurl finish on the edge so you can slide it out if you need to take it apart for any reason whereas the Jessums will just come straight apart almost the same however the Hongdu has that one little extra feature this is the Hongdu is nice and rounded whereas the Jessum is just a square piece of bar there are no holes this is solid whereas the Jessum has these two holes drilled in it and the reason why is because their bolt has to come up through the hole so the little bolts that lock this down into the, the track as you see the Hongdu actually has a bigger area for your fingers to grab to lock it into the track compared to the Jessums for some reason the Hongdu came with the washer which I don't know if that will make any difference whereas the Jessums does not have a washer it just goes straight into the metal body which would uh, I guess could be scratched uh, now Jessums they did machine down uh, a solder here whereas the Hongdu is just plain straight threads really not much of a difference all right, and the reason why the Jessums have these holes is their bolt is just threaded, threaded straight in, which is what holds the pin with the spring. Whereas the Hongdu, they went ahead and machined it down into the body and had a pan head bolt so that we don't have to have the hole to uh, recess for the bolt. The, the little guide rail that goes into our track will fit wherever whereas this one just has to have the hole so that the bolt head can come through all right so with both of these you know you can obviously go all the way down to zero with the Hongdu it comes out to your stop and so that would be the furthest out away from the fence with the Jessums I mean if you put your finger here to make sure you don't accidentally push it out because there's no stop and you can accidentally come out too far but that would be the maximum length out there so if we look right here we are at say three and a half inches whereas we've got about three and what's that 13 sixteenths so we do have almost five sixteenths further out that this rod will come than what the Hongdu uh, comes out if we measure to the edge of our pulley here we have four inches on the Jessum, whereas the Hongdu has we're going four inches to the rubber. So that's about four and say three quarters of an inch. So it is about three quarters of an inch longer. These are adjustable. So you have these adjustment screws and right now both of these are adjusted in to the shortest that they can go. Now what I do like about the Hongdu is the bolts to extend it out are a larger size bolt the Jessums uses a significantly smaller allen screw and I just I don't like the smaller allen screw because I'm always scared I'm going to strip it so let's go ahead take these off and extend them out and see how far we can extend these out and see what is the maximum reach all right so now we're at maximum extension for both so let's put these up here next to each other whereas the Jessums were three quarters of an inch shorter now they're at five and a quarter maximum length whereas the Hongdu is a little over six and a half so they can actually extend over an inch and a quarter longer than what the original Jessums can so let's take and test it and see what that equates to and hold down strength. When you set these up, the way it says to do it for both of them is you drop it down until the metal frame lands on your wood and then you lock this uh, knob down. So it's a spring loaded, so the wheels stick down below the spring. And so that right there is the amount of pressure that they recommend on your board. So let's see how much pressure that is we'll turn on this little scale here all right we're zeroed out all right I'm gonna slide the scale all the way up to my fence drop it down and we're 2480 grams with the Hongdu we don't have to worry about it we can pull it straight out to the stop 
drop it down just like we did with the gessums, lock this down. I'm going to pull over. So let's uh, go ahead and zero out the scale. There it goes. We get in the same location. And we got 3,750 grams. So almost 50% more holding force for the Hongdu. All right, so now this is the gessum that's fully extended. I don't know if that changes. You know, it does change your lever action. So again, we just set it. So I am still at zero. Here, let's, let's verify. Yep, we're at zero. So let's slide this back up to the fence. I'm going to move it back to the center where we were. And now we're only at about 1726 for our downward pressure. Okay, so we got the Hongdu that's fully extended. Let's go ahead and rotate that down. Lock it into position. Let's get our scale here. Zeroed out. And fully extended, we're now at 2,400 grams, give or take. And now, this fence is a short fence. If you had a taller fence, so with this sitting here, it sits nice and flush. But if your fence was higher, it wouldn't reach. And that's the reason why these extend for if you have a taller fence. So definitely, if you have a taller fence, you have to get the Hongdu because the, if these do not reach, because you've got an inch and a quarter greater reach on the Hongdu than you do on the Jessam. Something that I just now found out, I was surprised, that the Hongdu has a 50% stronger spring, obviously, because it can hold down greater force and then it pushes up against the fence that much harder. I have found with the Jessams, sometimes I would actually loosen up on like full seats of plywood and put it down just a little bit trying to increase the lifting you know how much pressure is on the spring with these Hongdu's I don't think I'm gonna to have to do that it rolls so easy I have not found I did not even realize that there was a difference but now going and checking these out with it fully extended I still have more downward pressure fully extended than the Jessums have that are fully retracted so as far as functionality, the Hongdu's actually perform better than the Jessums. They are both perfectly machined and I can't knock either one of them. Anybody who has ever used a Jessum product uh, right here on the table, you know, we've got a Jessum router lift. Jessum, a lot of people don't realize, make the router lifts for Incra, for Craig, you know, for uh, all these other companies. If you look at them, they're made by Jessam because Jessam is a top quality tool company. And so nobody can say anything negative really about the quality of a Jessam product. However, this company here, which is the same company that Katz Moses went to when he wanted the special tools made, the KM-17 and the KM-18s are actually made by Hongdu because they are also a high quality tool company. So yes, they're out of China. People say, let's buy in America. Well, these are not made in America either. These are made in Canada. So we are talking about a Canada versus a China company. But just like America, we have good quality tools and poor quality tools that are made here in America. And the problem is, is that there are a lot of poor quality tools made in China, but that doesn't mean that all manufacturers make poor quality tools. So if you disagree with me, let me know in the comments. But these right here, I was going to buy a second pair of them. They're $309. These right here are $169. So I just cannot understand why I would want to pay almost double for this product over that product when this product performs better than that one. 